Well, several of our buildings um, are actually schools or daycares, um, and so there's some protocols that are in place for, for doing those. And I wanted to actually show you a classroom and kind of how we take care of classroom tables and chairs, as well as basically just entering the classroom. First things we're going to do, um, and this really applies to um, all buildings that we clean in, but um, so basically what you're going to do um, is get the door handle wiped off. Um, and come over here and get the light switch. Again, this is rejuvenol on, you know, touch areas. Uh, we want to make sure that those get sanitized. Um, and then basically when you're taking care of tables, uh, student desks, you're just going to wipe the desk off. Um, and as far as the chairs go, you've got touch areas on the back of the chair where they're constantly grabbing their hands. Wipe that off and then wipe the seat of it off. Put it back. Um, and you'll see that you can get through a classroom pretty quick. Um, you know, there might be eraser crumbs and food debris in the seat of the chair. Um, but just start at the top and work your way to the bottom on those. Um, another little tip I wanted to show you too was that whenever you relight a trash can, um, it helps a lot if you will undo the bag. And then as you're putting the bag in, you can just kind of blow air into the bag as you put it into the can. That'll cause the inside of the bag to cling to the um, interior of the trash can. Um, also, while you're cleaning and you've got your rejuvenol, when the solution inside your bucket um, starts to get kind of murky, you're gonna wanna change that. Um, if you can't really see through it and it's dirty, then you need to go ahead and get a new solution made. Um, same thing with mopping a floor. Some of the larger buildings, you may find that you'll need to change your mop wire two or three times uh, just because the amount of floor space that you're uh, having to mop. So you'll want to kind of keep your eye on that. When it gets dirty, you need to change it and make it clean again. Um, a few other things to kind of pay attention to. I, I know I talked to you about dusting and we talked about baseboards and stuff, but we also want to make sure that these door frames right in through here get dusted. There'll be a lot of spider webs uh, growing right up in here. So make sure that, that gets added to your dusting list. Um, also, customer supplied products like your trash bags, uh, your hand soap in the restrooms, um, toilet paper, paper towels, whenever those items are running low, um, you'll want to use your SWEPT app and report that as an item that's needed and we'll be able to send an email to the building occupants uh, letting them know that it's time for them to reorder those supplies. A um, Couple other things, I wanted to take you to another place in the building and show you what a glass storefront is. So we're going to pause this and, and resume at a storefront. Okay, so we made it to some storefronts here. Um, basically what you've got is your glass door that you're going to be cleaning on the inside and out. And then when you get to a storefront, which basically is a, a window partition inside of a building, you're just going to kind of visually inspect the storefront to see if maybe there's a handprint. You know, if there's a little handprint right here, we just spot clean that. So it's not an entire up and down, do the whole glass. You're just looking for something on here that needs to come off. And that's it for storefronts.